Hey guys, today we're making Japanese strawberry shortcake. The first time I saw this cake, I was just struck by its beauty. It's gorgeous. This cake is unlike any strawberry cake you might have had and what makes it so special and different is the fluffiness of the sponge combined with the softly whipped cream which goes perfectly with the fresh strawberries. It's a delicate, beautiful, delicious cake guys. Perfect for any occasion. So we're going to start by making the sponge. To my egg whites, I've added a bit of lemon juice, which along with the sugar will help stabilize the egg whites and give structure to our meringue. Once the eggs start to become foamy, you can start gradually adding the sugar. We're making a sponge cake today, so it's really important we incorporate lots of air into the egg whites because the cake will get its lift from this meringue. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. Once you reach stiff peaks, set the meringue to the side for a moment. And in this other bowl, I have the egg yolks and vanilla. Now this isn't necessary, but I do like to beat my egg yolks to lighten them in color so we get a beautiful, subtle, pale golden sponge. For those of you wondering, I have made this cake with just the egg whites. I personally didn't like it. There's no contrast with the cream. So I do think just using less egg yolks and whipping them gives this cake that beautiful color. I've added the milk and melted butter, which will soften our sponge and then you can mix in the dry ingredients. It's crucial for sponge cakes to not overmix the dry ingredients because of the low fat content these cakes have. I have an entire video dedicated to cake science, so if you're interested, just check the description box for the link. Add some dollops of the meringue to the cake batter to loosen it. So we want this to be a soft consistency, so when you fold in the rest of your egg whites, you can incorporate them without using too much pressure and keep lots of air in the mixture. Divide this beautiful cake batter in two bands, buttered, floured, and lined with parchment paper. You can use a spatula, you know, to even everything out, and you're going to bake the cakes in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit for around 20 to 22 minutes. Do the toothpick test. If it comes out clean, the cakes are ready. You'll notice these cakes pull away from the sides very easily, and I love this cake because it bakes flat with no caramelization. Allow the cakes to cool for five minutes and then take them out of their pans and let them cool completely before you assemble the cake. Now, this cake wants a soft whipped cream. This can be quite tricky and you do need to work fast, especially if you're assembling this cake on a hot day. However, if you don't feel comfortable using straight up whipped cream, I got you covered. In the description box, you'll find two options, one of which is definitely a sturdier whipped cream. Add your thinly sliced strawberries and at this point, you may be thinking that's not a lot of strawberries for a strawberry cake, but this is a strawberry shortcake, and I do think the beauty of this cake is that delicate strawberry flavor. However, if you want a deeper strawberry flavor, I do have another strawberry cake on the channel with a strawberry caramel. It's just as delicious, and I'll leave a link to that video. You're going to top this with more whipped cream, the other cake sponge, and again, more cream. Now this is a refrigerated cake because of the fresh fruit and the cream. So once you've assembled this, you're going to cover it and pop it in the fridge for at least two hours. And it will also be easier to cut. You're going to trim all four sides of the cake to reveal those beautiful layers. And because this is YouTube and nothing is ever implied, all cake scraps were saved and eaten. Top the cake with more fresh strawberries and the cake is ready to serve and enjoy. I love the look of this cake, guys. Not only do I think it's beautiful, but it also stands out among the more traditional strawberry cakes. The softness of the sponge is incredible. It's almost like eating a fluffy cloud with cream and strawberries. The cake is just delicious. If you want to give your strawberry cake this year a different look and a unique and amazing texture, make this cake.